channel. This is Rhonda. I hope you enjoy my video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button, maybe even best yet, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, um, I thought I would film just a real quick little update on my fitness journey. Um, as some of you who have watched a few of my videos know, about January 2nd, I decided it's time I really refocused myself on my fitness goals because they're not just going to happen by themselves. I wish they would because, boy, it sure would be a lot easier if I could just, you know, go to sleep one day and wake up the next and be about 25 pounds lighter and have nice cute little muscles in my arms and shoulders, but that's just not going to happen. I don't live in fantasy land. I'd like to. Boy, it'd be really cool. Anyway, um, since January 2nd, I have only lost 2.2 pounds. Now, I know everyone's like, oh, God, that's not very much. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm happy because I'm not as worried about the scale. The scale lies to you all the flippin' time. All the flippin' time. What I'm happy about is since January 2nd, I've lost three quarters of an inch off my waist. Three quarters of an inch around my navel area. Uh -huh. Now I've only lost a quarter inch around my hips, but let me tell you something here. I have also been really, really, really working on a lot of glute exercises, heavy deep squats, heavy deadlifts, heavy sumo deadlifts, um, hip thrusters, glute bridges, you name it. If it works the buns and it builds your glutes, I've been doing them. And my booty has kind of slowly started working its way back up north and it's rounding out. I'm actually eventually going to have a nice looking butt. So eventually, I think it's looking pretty good for a woman who will be 47 this year. So yay me. So I think a little bit of my lack of progress in my hips is because I've got a butt that I'm measuring now. Instead of having the fat, flat booty, I got a little bit of a nice rounded peach going on back there. So I'm not that very concerned. I really haven't lost anything off the twins here because they don't want to leave me, apparently. But, uh, and the same around my, um around my bra band area. They really haven't lost anything there. But again, I've been doing a lot of back work, um, trying to work on obtaining my first pull-up. So I've been doing a lot of negative pull-ups, you know, where you get up on the bar and then, you know, lift, get, to get yourself up there and then you slowly go down. Of course, for me, it's more like boom and I'm down, but I'm working at it. Um, lots of back rows, a lot of lat pull downs, stuff to really work my back. And hey, it also kind of helps even the front and the back out. So I'm not going to be like a little hooched up lady here. And I got a lot of weight here that I'm carrying around. So um, I also think I've probably been trying to build a little bit of muscle in my back. Um, so that probably helps, you know, counterbalance a little bit if I have lost anything um, fat from my back. Because it just doesn't seem like I have quite the bra band roll that I used to. And so I'm thinking, okay, I've probably burned a little fat from the area and put just a little bit of muscle on in that area. So I'm okay with that also. Because, um, ladies, and I guess I guess I might have a guy or two that watches, I don't know. Let me tell you something. When you start losing weight, what are people gonna notice? They're gonna notice you look thinner. I've kind of noticed I got less of this, which I'm thrilled about. Thrilled! I have less of a double chin! Yay! Um, what are they gonna notice? Are they gonna notice you're looking thinner, you're looking fitter, your arms are starting to get that little bit of a cut, you know, in them, that pretty little, you know, line right there between your bicep and your tricep. Uh, they're going to notice that. Are they going to notice that the scale's gone down five pounds? No. They're not going to know that. Who carries around a scale and says, hey, 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 I'm going to stand on my scale. You come over here and look at that number. <laughs> does that. So I'm less worried about the fact that the scale is only showing 2.2 pounds 
Although, hey, I'll take it. I mean, it is kind of nice to step on that scale and see 2.2 pounds is gone, but I'm not as worried about that. Um, because, like I said, I have, I'm losing inches. I mean, my gosh, three quarters of an inch off my waist, three quarters of an inch off around my navel area. Heck, no wonder my pants were starting to kind of slide down a little bit. It's because they're too big. So I'm hoping that by the time March 1st rolls around and I'll do another update, I'll be able to tell you guys I've lost even more. Now the only bad thing about it is I've really not gotten to go to CrossFit. Okay, let me rephrase that. I've not really gone to CrossFit. Um... I was sick a little bit in January. I was a little bit overworked in January and there was one time where there was some ice storm and I had to be at work and I had to drive home and after that I'm just like I am not driving anymore today. Um, and a little bit of it's just like I just in January I just have this whole mentality of I don't even want to leave house. I just kind of hibernate in the winter. But what I've been doing is my home gym. I'll link um, a video below that shows what my home gym looks like. It's even a little bit improved. But um, in it, I've been going down to my home gym at least two to three days a week. I've got a treadmill now. Um, I've been going down. I've been lifting heavy weights and then throwing like a light CrossFit style workout with, you know, hang cleans and burpees. Not too many burpees. I don't like burpees. Um, things like that. And then here lately I've been going out after I kind of catch my breath from my CrossFit workout and I've been attempting to do some sprints on my treadmill. I will eventually get so I can run a 200, run a 400, and run an 800. Although God knows why I would want to. I know why. Because Coach at CrossFit makes me run the 800. Ugh. I'm not much of a runner. So I'm working on it. And I really think running these sprints, once my shin splints decide that they will cooperate and they will run with me, I'm going to start doing it. So I've been working out actually quite a little bit, three to four days a week uh, for most of January. So I think that is freaking awesome. I'm going to make myself go to CrossFit because I love going to CrossFit. Okay, I may hate 80% of what I'm doing when I'm there, but the second I'm done, I feel like freaking Wonder Woman once I pick myself up off the floor and catch my breath. But I love CrossFit, but I'm also going to still continue to lift heavy weights at home because at heart I am just a weightlifter. I love lifting weights. I It's just my passion is to see if I can deadlift something very heavy up off the floor. So I'm going to do the two of them combined. So that's my little fitness update. Um, I've lost some inches. I've lost a little bit of weight. Uh, I think things are going great. Um, I'm for the most part sleeping a little better, um, feeling a lot better about myself. Um, just, I don't know, exercise really does just make me feel so much better. So if you've ever thought about doing any kind of fitness, anything, give it a try. Give, give a little bit of a workout. Get an exercise video. There are thousands of YouTube videos out there. Jessica Smith, a great one to start with. Um, there's Zuka Light. She's a great one to start with. Um, Body Rock. They're just they, There are thousands of them all over YouTube. Um, I'll link, a, see if I'll remember to link a few in my description box of a few uh, favorites that I have. So that is my fitness uh, update for you. I hope it inspires someone out there to start doing something. And if it doesn't, well, you still get an update and I don't care. So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, and take care of yourself. That's the nurse's order. Bye-bye.